Hello and happy Advent. This is Father Jason Cargo and these are my Advent, Advent reflections of the Jesse tree. What is the Jesse tree? Well, it's a scriptural way through the Advent season that looks at the prophecies and the lineage of Jesus Christ that brings us to his birth in Bethlehem. We will have a theme, a symbol of that theme, a scripture reading, a reflection, a wonder question, as well as an action item, all of which will bring us closer to Jesus during this Advent season. Today's theme is that Rahab helps Joshua get to the promised land. The symbol of that theme is the red rope on the wall. The scripture reading is from Joshua chapter 1, verse 1 through 9, Joshua chapter 2, verses 1 through 21, and Joshua chapter 6, verses 1 through 25. Boy, that's a bunch. Let's repeat it. Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 through 9, Joshua chapter 2, verses 1 through 21, and Joshua chapter 6, verses 1 through 25. Let's look at the shortened version of these readings. I command you, be strong and steadfast. Do not fear nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Rahab said to the two visitors in Jericho, Now then swear to me by the Lord that since I am showing kindness to you, you in turn will show kindness to my family. They replied to her, You, tie this garlic cord in the window through which you are letting us down. Gather your family in your house, and you will be protected. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The family lineage of Jesus Christ includes the most intriguing people. They include kings and prophets, ordinary folks, the weak, and even sinners. Today's reflection is on one of the most unlikely people that is found in Jesus' lineage. In the genealogy from Abraham to Jesus, Rahab is one of just five women that is found. She makes a list as a woman, as a Gentile, as a non-Israelite, and as a sinner. She was a prostitute by trade. And yet she was so important to Israel, and she was so important to the salvation of of the people of God, that she was included as part of Jesus' genealogy. It was time for the Israelites to come into the promised land, and the first city they came upon is Jericho. God moved the heart of Rahab to know the will of God, and she realized that God's will was that for, for the Israelite people to have this land, and she realized that the walls of Jericho would come tumbling down. She was promised by the agents of Israel that she would be protected from harm, her and her family, if she hung this red rope down her wall. This red rope, much like the blood of the slaughtered lamb during Passover, allowed death to pass by her house. It's also similar to the blood that flowed down the side of Jesus Christ, that any believer is saved from sin and death by that very blood. And having Rahab play such a prominent, important role in Jesus' lineage, it shows that every single one of us has a part to play in God's plan of salvation. No matter what your background is, no matter what work you do, no matter where you come from, no matter what you think, or not even, doesn't even matter if you're addicted to something, or even if you're one of the greatest sinners. No matter how messy your life is, the Lord wants you. The Lord loves you. And you are part of his plan. You are a messenger for him to bring his glory into this earth. Rahab got a part to play in Jesus' is coming as a baby. And we all have our parts to play to bring Jesus Christ to the world. Let's look at our, our wonder question. Has someone unexpectedly spoken to you the words of grace? Was it your son or daughter? 
Was it a stranger? Was it a poor person? How did this change your view of God in your life? How has this changed your view of God in that person's life? How has someone unexpectedly spoken to you the words of God's grace? How did that change your view of God in your life and in his or her life? And now our action item. Write down your story of faith. Think about a moment in your life where your faith became more alive. Think about your life before that moment. Think about what that encounter was like and think about that moment or what your life was after that moment, how it was better. Then write it all down. Once you have done all that, then muster the courage to tell someone that very story. Now we place this ornament, the symbol, the rope along the wall, the symbol that God can use any of us as his messenger, no matter where we are, to bring his glory to this earth. And we place that on the Jesse tree. May you be blessed as you continue this Jesse tree journey. Tomorrow's symbol is the wheat. I will see you tomorrow as we discover how the wheat leads us to Jesus Christ. Until then, I wish God's blessing upon you during this Advent season. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ.